bigoted Israeli rabbi calls deadly Turkey Syria earthquake divine justice. Prepare yourself for one of the most disgusting things you've ever heard. I just want everyone to take a moment to sit down and mentally get wow. prepared. And also, this is my moment to say, YouTube, we are reporting on the views of other people. These are not our views. We condemn these views, and we are talking about this for educational purposes. Okay, now let us continue. Recently, uh, Shmuel Aliyahu, a member of Israel's chief rabbinic council, the chief rabbinic council, stirred up controversy by describing the devastating earthquake that struck, struck Turkey and Syria as, quote unquote, divine justice. He expressed his views in an article for the Olam Katan, a conservative religious right wing weekly newsletter. In his Friday column, Eliyahu um, claimed that God punished the countries affected by the earthquake for alleged, allegedly mistreating the Jewish people, even comparing the quake to the drowning of the Egyptians in the Red Sea in the biblical story of Exodus. So, he, quote, this is what he is saying. YouTube, this is what he is saying. Well, there is no doubt that those who have seen the Egyptians drowning in the sea and did not remember the whole event from beginning to end would have been filled with great pity for them and would have tried to save them from drowning, Eliyahu said in his op-ed. But, but the Israelites sang songs because they knew the Egyptians and understood that these drowners wanted to kill some of them and to continue to enslave the rest. They sang songs because they understood that there was divine justice here intended to punish the Egyptians who have drowned the children of the people of Israel in the Nile so that the wicked in the world could see and be afraid. Israeli religious leaders reacted in horror and outrage at his offensive comments regarding the tragedy. So that's like only a portion of what he said. It's so outrageous. So he was also saying... So he, he, he's basically saying that Israelis should be celebrating this earthquake. That's basically what he's saying. And then he also said, quote, God is judging all the nations around us who wanted to invade our land several times and throw us into the sea. This is about Syria, which abused its Jew Jewish residents for hundreds of years in the blood libels of Damascus and others, and which invaded Israel three times in order to kill and destroy. We do, know, we do not know what accounts need to be settled with Turkey such a gross way to think about it, which has defamed us in every possible arena. But if God reveals to us and tell us, tells us that he is going to judge all our enemies, we just have to look and understand what is going on around us. Every, this is so disgusting. This is so disgusting. YouTube, these are not our views. This is the views of a hate preacher we are condemning. He went on to say, everything that happens, happens in order to cleanse the world and make it better. Can you believe this? That's disgusting. Wow. Do you think he, he's doing this on purpose to get uh, attention or does, is that just how he thinks? Um, I mean, probably both. Maybe both. But this does seem to be reflective of his views and his history. Like mm. he is a crazy anti-Arab racist. He's pushed for um, stripping, you know, Arabs. Not that, of it. Not that we Arab. think Turkey is Arab for people who think like that's what, what we're saying that we like, obviously. No, no, we don't think no, that. We're just, we're just, just referring no to context about his beliefs. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, he, he is super racist against Arabs, virulently anti-Arab. Um, he, uh, I just lost my train of thought, like but, crazy anti-LGBT. Um, and he even encouraged these Israeli boys that killed the Palestinian women saying that, oh, like prison is the beginning of political revolutions anyways. So basically praising these like six young men that went in and killed an innocent Palestinian civilian. Um, so really, really disgusting, virulent stuff. So obviously he has... Um, he 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 literally says that he he's like oh i don't know why god is punishing turkey and goes on to say that he's assuming it's because of their slander against israel which is weird because turkey is now closer to israel than before so it keeps going up and down um i have a comment in the live chat which i want to call out because i don't mm -hmm. like it 
Wanda oh, is saying, disgusting. yes, Wanda is saying, I hope all non Muslims in Turkey and Syria are, are okay. Get yeah, this the is fuck out of here. That is Sicko. really, bad. oh my god, Wanda, that is really tribal. This is not something we want to be tribal about, okay? You uh, think all of these children, these children, three year olds, six year olds who grew up in a Muslim family. They, they you, you hope that they're not okay when they're buried under uh, under rubble. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, guys, like we were like this is not something to be dividing over being Muslim or not being Muslim. And also not just, like I mean you're right, like but the adults too, like I mean, yeah. do you what do you not hope are you not gonna wish the Muslims well because they be Muslim? That is that is disgusting. I only use the child's example because theoretically yeah. someone who would say something so gross would realize that having that sentiment held against a child is an innocent child is freaking insane. Yeah. Guys, yeah. like our, we don't have any issues with Muslims other than having disagreements with them. Okay. When it comes to wishing them well, wishing them better lives, wishing them happiness, wishing them, you know, prosperity, and all of that, we don't hold back whether people are Muslims or non-Muslims. Like, and we try to. Each one of us is trying to, should be trying to make this world a better place for everybody, including the people who we have disagreements with. Like, why do we? Why would you? I don't know. Like, okay, so he's saying atheists face constant persecution in the in these areas, and I don't consider ch children Muslim. Okay, well, adults either adults as well. First of all, yeah, atheists. Uh, face constant persecution that is nothing compared to having your house drop down on you okay so whatever atheists are feeling in turkey now this is a devastation like this is such an equalizer you're gonna you're gonna hope wish you're gonna wish um health and life for people just because they had it a bit harder than other people in that country that is that is disgusting that is disgusting this is disgusting. I call this out is this is one of the most stuff. depressing comments I've gotten in our live chat in a long time. This is straight yeah. up depressing. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure there are Muslims who are better than this. I mean, you're an atheist, but I'm sure there are Muslims. Yeah, easily, <laughs> easily. Yeah. There's hundreds I, of I, thousands of Muslims would, that are better than this. Sicko. I would say, <laughs> as an atheist, I, I would, as an atheist, I would say there are Muslims who, in an earthquake, they wouldn't just wish well for Muslims, right? They wouldn't just hope that Muslims are doing okay. I say there are Muslims who in an earthquake, they are wishing the best for Muslims, Christians, atheists, right? So even I though you, even though you're an atheist, even though you're an atheist, I think that I would side with the Muslims in this over you because I think most yeah, exactly. Muslims are better. Any, most Muslims are better than this atheist, but yeah, go on. Exactly. Any Muslim that has a shred of freaking humanity and cares more about the well-being of people than a, a in group i have more in common and would rather be with that person any day of the week than this freaking atheist disgusting disgusting yeah. yeah but you know that's why we're here armin okay we're not we're not here to pretend like our community is just sunshine and rainbows we're here to talk about the bs and call it out when it when it shows its ugly face and we we saw very ugly face today yeah sasan is saying people should learn how to, uh, to differentiate between ideas like religion and people people who follow a religion the problem is that the idea the idea is not the people yeah i mean these are just disagreements okay we have we have disagreements with muslims right um just we don't that doesn't that doesn't have to lead into you know considering them not you know, our enemies less are not human. less. Yeah. Get my best selling book. Why there is no God for free. Click on the link for it in the description.